I'd like to take a short minute to talk to all of you about leadership and dress codes. I hear a lot of complaints, social networking sites and when I'm out in public, about leadership and failures in leadership. And I'd like everybody to take just a moment and think about who they're looking to for leadership. I think that far too often we accept, without any kind of reservation, that leadership wears a tie or has a bigger office than us or simply gets airtime on TV. And a lot of times it does. Seriously, it does. But not always. Malcontents and morons wear their ties out of their big offices to their national TV appointments with an alarming level of frequency. And we, we still manage to call these, these idiots leaders because we've taken this visual reference as a default position. But let's be honest, uh, leadership doesn't have a uniform. In fact, leadership has the largest wardrobe in the world. It can be found wearing a tie or medals, but just as frequently, leadership wears a hard hat. Leadership carries a baby. Leadership sometimes even has on a polyester shirt and asks you if you want fries with that. Sometimes the socks don't even match. My father used to tell me that if I wanted to lead, I should do so by example. And no one's ever told me to lead with a tie or a big office or a TV screen. Stop and think about it and you might find that leadership even has a shirt on like yours. When you take the next step in your life or when you get your next argument, stop and think about a leader you've actually known, a, a real leader you've, you've actually known. Uh, a kind teacher, maybe a patient coach. I think about Cliff Huxtable if you have to. Take that example and leave behind an example. Pretend that your interactions are that, that dish of pennies by the cash register. Before you know it, you may find yourself being a leader. No tie required. <laughs>